Good morning. I've been tracking my macros pretty much for the whole month of March, with the exception of pretty much the weekends. I, I was just too lazy to track them on the weekends, and uh, I'll do whatever I want. And this is what I look like right now. So I'm pretty happy with my results. I started out March 1st, I was about 165 pounds and I tried to track all of my macros. I, I initially started to use a calendar and then I switched to an Excel spreadsheet. The first couple weeks I honestly wasn't very consistent. As you could see my weight was bouncing around. I was having a little bit of progress in the first, first half and then um, I actually started to see results towards the end of pretty much the almost the second week. So I went from about 163, 164 down to uh, 160 and you, you can see when I ate a lot of food as when my weight bounced back up to what it was on the first. So pretty much after the weekend I'll get right back on it. I'll be eating basic foods like soups, uh, real foods, vegetables, substitute your rice. Get rid of the rice if you can. And I'm Asian too, so um, I understand the struggle that, you know, but if you substitute it out with broccoli, cauliflower, it has more nutritional profile, it has protein in it, and that will help you. And in all honesty, the food doesn't taste that good, but it prevents you from overeating. So make sure you eat your vegetables first, make soup, get, get your proteins, your oatmeal, your food. Uh, make sure you try and track everything, just be consistent with it. Uh, once you have it on a Google spreadsheet or you could use an application like my plates uh, uh, It's easier for you to track if you're consistently eating the same things That you will see results and make sure that you know, you try and work on your sleep the way you think in your mind uh, Get focused on what you want to do and also I was watching a, a Brandon Carter Video and he was saying you should budget your money and budget your time because if you don't do those things, then you have no clue, you know, what you're doing. I could be wasting my time organizing my sock drawer or cleaning, you know, versus I, I should be more focused on uh, using the audiobooks, going for a walk, you know, a couple of these activities that you want to do so that you could go where you want to go so that you, you can achieve what you want to achieve and you guys will be successful, uh, you know. Me and me waking up like this, I'm pretty happy. And, and it puts a smile on your face when you when you look when you wake up and you look good. You look good, you know, you you're gonna feel better. Your interactions with other people, the you're you're gonna feel more like a leader. And and also, you know, you you could dress nice, you you could try and use uh, certain products. For example, I'll I'll show you what I use for my face and my mouth. I'm still on Invisalign and I have three more trays left. I have an appointment next month. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm pretty excited in terms of uh, being done with the process, but technically you're never really done because you, you have to maintain these things. It's something that I wish that I did when I was younger. And my excuse was that, oh, you know, braces are expensive and yes, they're expensive, but I started working when I was 13. so. I just didn't love myself. I didn't feel worthy of them. And that's probably why it prevented me from smiling a lot. And, and when I was young, I just wasn't in a good mental space. And uh, that's why I didn't do it. So for sure, five, five pounds in one month. So now my next goal for April is just to tighten up, you know, make sure that I'm more consistent with what I'm doing. And for sure, the people that you hang out with, they influence they can influence what you eat, you know, because uh, maybe at uh, my place, I don't have junk food, but if, if I go to my friend's place, ice cream, cookies, coffee, stuff like that. Well, main reason why I don't drink coffee is because it stains my teeth. And some people say, oh, you know, you could use a straw. I just don't do it because it's a pet peeve of mine. I've been using this tea. So one, one of my friends, he, he pitched this uh, tea to me. And it actually does work with uh, weight loss management. So I'm supposed to take it once a week. 
And I noticed that for the, the two weeks that I've been taking it, I actually took it three times that. It actually did help me drop the weight after the weekend. But that's what you're doing in your daily habits. I, I pretty much try to walk multiple times a day, two to three times a day. I would try, I would be trying to hit eight to 20,000 steps in one day. On the weekends, I try and walk three times a day. There's no excuse not to do it. I haven't really been running and I haven't really been using heavy weights. And I'm actually gonna do a, a strength test for you guys. I'll have both flex dumbbells. I'll set it on uh, 52 and a half and we'll, we'll see what I could do. These are other products. So just say for example, if you wanted to get rid of bad breath, make sure you use this on your tongue and just get rid of all of the gunk. And then uh, next, I would be cleaning my, my Invisalign trays. And while that, while I'm doing that, I will be using mouthwash. Make sure you move your tongue around so that you, you're getting all of the spaces within your mouth. Gurgle it so it gets to the back. And then after that, I'll be brushing my teeth. I most likely floss first. Some people floss before they brush, some people floss after they brush. I think you should do it beforehand, but that's my opinion. I'm not a dentist, not a doctor. So after that, I would be, um, I got these geology products. There's a face wash. So I'm, I would use this and I'll couple it with a brush. And it's kind of feminine, but you know, you're know you trying to, uh, to do everything that you can to maximize your looks so that you can feel better about it. Because wow, when you have acne on your face and obviously you can't get rid of all of it, uh, you're not gonna feel as confident. So moisturizing cream. After that, I would take a shower. I, I would be using this nasal flow. I got punched and kicked in the face a lot. And I actually had surgery on my nose. So I, I think that this would keep your nose clean. Uh, after I get out of the shower, I'd be using the serum. I actually just started using it a couple weeks ago. So I'm not really sure if it works or not. And then after that, I would, I would put this on my face. I would put this on my neck. It's another moisturizer that they have. And then after that, I'll be using the sunscreen. And then twice a week, I'm supposed to uh, use an exfoliator. And then, oh, by the way, every, uh, make sure that you put these events in your calendar so that they're scheduled out and then there are reminders as to when you're supposed to do things. There's no negotiation in it. That you're planning everything to be successful. So there, this is the PM. For the PM, it's similar, right? Where you're washing your face, use the brush, shower, uh, put this on your eyes, and I put this on your face. And then I normally put this on my neck too. Just because these both of these are lotions and I'm, I'm trying to use up the product. I actually have three, uh, uh, I bought too much of this stuff, so I have three more sets after this and I'm not sure, maybe this will last like a month or two. And I'm, I have hyperthyroid and I'm on methamazole and I'm, I'm also on Adderall as well. I haven't been taking creatine but I've been using a multivitamin, does it work? I don't know. If, if you think it will work for you, it will work for you. Optimistic about things, they will work for you. But if, if you think that they won't, then they won't. But uh, in terms of April, I wanted to try and get back on creatine. I haven't been using it in all, all honesty. I've, I've been lazy about it. I personally don't think it really benefits me right now to use it because I was more trying to drop weight. But now it, it's more about the way I look versus the numbers because I think that I was so fixated on, you know, 160, 150, but it's more about how you look because you you could hit those numbers and still not look that good. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'll keep you guys updated for April. And yeah, um, I hope you guys are enjoying the journey because sometimes it's more about the journey over the destination. Uh, Bruce Lee has a quote. And it says sometimes goals, they're not meant to be hit, they're meant to be aimed at. 
because you guys will be achieving a lot more once you hit your goal.